A question for today. Do nice guys finish last? Hi, Larry Buxton here with another edition of Leading with Spirit. This quote is attributed to Brooklyn Dodgers manager Leo DeRocher, which he said a full 75 years ago. DeRocher's managerial style was harsh, critical, and sarcastic. And one day a reporter had heard enough of his negativity and said, Leo, why can't you just be a nice guy? DeRocher gestured towards the Giants manager, Mel Ott, a very well-liked man whose team happened to be in the cellar that year. And he sneered because nice guys finish last. Well, since then, it's become a cliche about leadership in general, hasn't it? That effective management and leadership has to be critical, direct, and strict. Nice guys finish last implies that tact is softness and that rudeness is simply the price you pay for being candid and straightforward. So, of course, we need to remember DeRocher was wrong. First, sometimes nice guys do finish first. Second, one year DeRocher himself finished last. But more importantly, DeRocher's style of harsh, directive leadership has culturally taken on the appearance of being strong, and that's dangerous. Many people credit our former president's appeal to just that style of leadership. His bluntness and insensitivity were seen as honesty. Even now, politicians at both extremes can get applause and headlines when they spout particularly nasty insults about their opponents. It may help them get elected, but meanness doesn't translate to good legislation being passed or tough problems being solved. It contributes instead to our atmosphere of blaming, mistrust, and paralysis. So instead of letting your id drive your language, aim instead for clarity. The best leadership sets clear expectations and natural consequences. In the same way, the best parents don't make vague rules and then threaten every infraction with the paddle. They can be strict if they're also clear and loving. And the best managers don't embarrass others as motivation. They inspire publicly and correct privately. The best coaches and teachers can be either warm or blunt, either tactful or sharp, but whenever a leader is clear, calm, and consistent, every organization or family or congregation or team will rise to a higher level. So to counter DeRocher's axiom, we can also say you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Being nice is no guarantee of success, but remember the greatest achievements today are coming from people who can collaborate, who know how to work together, who know how to be team members and who can be flexible, and who have good interpersonal relationship skills. Today's success is coming from people who more often than not have not niceness, but clarity, character, and kindness. The New Testament calls these leadership virtues fruits of the Spirit, and it names nine of them. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. These are the qualities to cultivate now if you want to finish first. So now we say, sorry, Leo, you're out of here. <laughs> it's a whole new ball game today. Remember that leadership coaching is a basic way you can set these qualities into your personal habits. Check out the rest of my site, LarryBuxton.com, for more ways that you can grow as a high-quality parent or leader. Thanks a lot, and God bless you.